a tribute to Irving Berlin today and welcome all of you. Sean? Thank you, Gary. Well, I'd like to introduce the band. Before I do that, I want to thank all you folks for coming out. We didn't know how many folks were going to be coming out. We're really surprised. I know that Rotary was surprised as they were carrying out more chairs and getting everybody set up. So we're glad you're here. We're glad to be here. And uh, a lot of you folks have seen me play before at the uh, senior banquet that uh, Rotary puts on, but uh, I think a lot of you haven't seen a number of the other Young at Heart performers. Most of them perform in the nursing homes, and we're just starting to do the local senior center. So what I'd like to do is begin by introducing the uh, members of the band from the wonderful, thriving metropolis of Fresno on piano, the wonderful Johnny Fabulous. From the Midwest, from originally from St. Louis, on bass, vocals, and clarinet, and saxophone, Penny Hanna. Yeah. Yeah. On drums, from the island of Aruba, I don't know how you're so bright though, from Aruba, Richie Began. On violin from Ogden, Utah, living in Santa Cruz. The 1990 National Trick and Fancy Fiddle Champion, James Finger Shoop. And our own other little songbird, the wonderful Ginny Mitchell on vocals. Grocer, the clerk, are secretly unhappy because the butcher, the baker, the grocer, the clerk, they get paid for what they do, but no applause. They gladly trade their dreary jobs goodbye for anything theatrical. And why? There's no business like show business like no business I know. Everything about it is appealing. Everything the traffic will allow. You have that happy feeling when you are stealing that extra bow. There's no people like show people. They smile. They are low, even with a turkey that you know will fall. Get stranded out in the cold. Trade it for a cent of gold. Let's go on with the show. that lifts you when you're down. The headaches, the heartaches, the backaches, the flops, the sheriff who escorts you out of town. The opening when your heart beats like a drum. The closing when the customers won't come. There's no people like show people like no people I know. You get where the night 
the show has started. That's your favorite uncle that and all. Thank you. Well, the year was 1911, and a craze was sweeping the nation. The craze of ragtime music. And Irving Berlin, he wrote a tune that caused him to become known as the King of Ragtime. Although we know he really wasn't the King of Ragtime, that fell to Scott Joplin. This propelled him into the limelight. And this is the song that he wrote. Take you to Alexander's brass band, brass band. Ain't you coming along? to sell over a million copies of music. Um, Al Jolson, perhaps, was the person most responsible for that. And in 1924, <clears throat> Irving Berlin was the number one songwriter in the country, and he was also in love. He was in love with a lady named Ellen Mackey. Ellen was the daughter of a wealthy industrialist. They lived in New York. Well, how wealthy were they? Well, they had a hundred acre estate overlooking Manhattan with a 50 room mansion and a staff of 128. That, folks, was just their summer residence. <laughs> and they had the biggest summer house in the United States at the time, and they were at the top of the social registry in New York. But they weren't very high on Irving Berlin. Mr. Mackey had other plans for his daughter. He didn't want this little immigrant songwriter courting his daughter. So he decided to take her on a trip to Europe in the hopes that she'd forget all about Irving. Irving sat down and wrote what was to become known as the first torch ballad ever written, was introduced to Broadway in 1924 in the Music Box Review. He wrote, 
Gone is that romance that was so divine. It's broken, cannot be mended. You must go your way, and I must go mine. But now that our love dreams have ended, what will I do when you are far away? And I am so blue. What will I do? What will I do? question is, what did they do? Ah, it's a good story. Irving writes a song. It sells two million copies of sheet music. Ten million people are playing the song on the piano. Twenty million people are singing the song. Mr. Mackey's plans backfire in a big way. There's no way that Ellen is going to forget about Irving. Everybody is talking about this song that he wrote for her. So upon arriving back in the United States, her father said, Ellen, if you this fellow, I'm going to disown you. That 50 room mansion, that staff of 125, everything that you've grown to love so much, all the accoutrements will be gone. Ellen pondered that for a few moments. And you know what? They decided to elope. And the night they got married, Irving Berlin, the proud man that he was, said to Ellen, I'll be able to support you in the manner to which you've grown accustomed. Now you have to remember that 50 mansion, staff of 120 something. With that he said, I'm going to give you the rights to the next song that I've written. She said, well, that may do well and it may not. And he said, just in case the song doesn't do so well, how about this? And with that he wrote her out a check for the sum of, you have to remember, this is 1925 now, or 1926. Five million dollars. That's the equivalent today of a hundred million dollars. And that song, on the next song that he gave her, oddly enough, went on to make more than five million dollars because that was his most famous love song named Always. And we'd like to have Jenny Mitchell sing the song for you.
1927, Irving Berlin was a big hit on Broadway. Broadway was beginning to get nervous because technology was catching up, passing them by. Pictures, moving pictures had already stolen a lot of their revenue. But in 1927, Hollywood decided to make the first talking picture. They decided to use the number one talent on Broadway. And who was that? You got it. The only person to have the bold audacity to walk on the Metropolitan Opera House stage following Caruso and look the audience in the eye and go, folks, you ain't heard nothing yet. <laughs> and for two hours, entertain a standing room only crowd all by himself. So Hollywood decided the number one choice would be Al Jolson. Al said, I don't know much about this talking picture stuff. I'm a song and dance man. They said, you can select your own material. So Al said, I know just the song I want to open up as jazz singer with. And it was an Irving Berlin song. And what we'd like to do is we now we'd like to bring out Richie Began. There he is. He's already out. I was blue, just as blue as I could be.
was a cloudy day for me. Then good luck came a-knocking at my door. Skies were gray, oh, but they're not gray anymore. Just about everybody knows that Irving Berlin composed on the piano, but what a lot of folks don't know is that he really wrote just in one key, the key of F sharp. He had a little gizmo underneath the piano where he could change keys. A little lever, 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 lever. What was I trying to say? Level? Lever, lever. Why did I have trouble saying lever? Anyway, Johnny, why don't you show him what you can on the black keys. Sound familiar? Now, how about another tune? <laughs> One more. Cheated. See, so next time you want to get down to the piano, you that can't play, you should just play on those black keys. You'd be amazed at how many songs you can come up with. Irving Berlin did pretty good. I got a song. You can make some dough, you do? too. You I have a song? Yeah, I got a song. Folks, are you ready for a song? Yeah. Hear this man here play? Yeah, all right. Yeah. 
All right, Irving Berlin was famous for writing songs about uh, the things he loved, and he had good taste because this song is called I Love a Piano. As a child, I went wild when the band played. How I ran to the man when his hands swayed. Clarinets were my pets. And I, 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 this isn't I love a clarinet, lady. This is I love a piano. <laughs> Clarinets were my pets. And a sly trombone I thought was simply divine. Yet today when they play, I could hiss them. Every bar is a jar to my system. But there's one instrument that I call mine. I love a piano. I love a piano. I love to hear somebody play upon a piano, a grand piano. It simply carries me away. Well, I know a fine way to treat a star way. I love to run my fingers for the keys, the ivories, and with the pedal. I love to meddle. So delighted when I'm invited to hear a long haired genius play. So you can keep your fiddle and your bow. Give me a P-I-A-N-O. Oh, I love to stop right beside an upright or a hot tone baby grand. yourself up here. You're wearing that hat, you're gonna drop over. You need something softer, sweeter, Johnny. You have to learn to take listen, listen up here. Won't you play a simple melody like my mama sang to me? Johnny, play a simple melody. Music of demons and Johnny screaming, won't you play me some rag? Just change that classical knack to some sweet, beautiful drag. If you will think on the copy of a tune that is choppy, you'll get all my applause. Simply because I want 
So I'm going to turn the, this over to Richie here and let you... Uh, Richie is doing a show this doing? month right. called A Tribute to Irving Berlin. Each month, by the way, one, the Young at Heart artists pick a theme, and we have about 10 different artists and 10 different themes that we play during the year. And each of the musicians you see up on stage are primarily soloists, and we've come together as a group to entertain you, and we hope you folks are enjoying it. And Richie, this month is... That's right. Thank you. Where's all, where's all those happy people from the... Uh, the, the, uh, the what, what's the places that I play? The Hillview? Hillview? The Valley Asia, Pines? The Valley Pines. And where's the other one? Pacific. Pacific Coast Mountain. Right. Are any of you folks here from the Pacific Coast? All those three places? Anybody come on down? There, yes, I see if There you are. I know that guy. <laughs> but, you know, Irving Berlin... One of the things I found out about Irving Berlin is Jerome Kern, the famous songwriter, said about Irving Berlin that Irving Berlin has no place in American music. Irving Berlin is American music, and that's really true. Irving Berlin wrote a lot of wonderful songs, and uh, one of the songs that he was most noted for was uh, this next tune that we're going to do. Irving Berlin wrote the song at midnight on a summer night, and he got <clears throat> out of bed in the and wrote this song, and in the morning, about 6 o'clock in the morning, he came in to... <laughs> We're not going to do White Christmas? Oh, no, cheat to cheat. Well, I got a great story about White Christmas. We'll talk about it later. See, Richie has his own group. I got my own thing here going here, folks. <laughs> You've been out in the sun too long. <laughs> See, what happened here, folks, is the sun and the heat have made this guitar go com just about you know, completely out of you know, tune. I will say one thing. So you always have to worry about <laughs> handing the microphone to the drummer, because the drummer, we all know, is always in a different world. But he's an expert on that world. That's true. I live in the world now. Here's a tune that the one and only Fred Astaire introduced. It was an art picture and it's called Cheek to Cheek.
the dancing Swinging and romancing All together dancing cheek to cheek Yeah, cheek to cheek, baby, just you There were so many songs that Fred Astaire introduced in RKO pictures that Irving Berlin wrote. And this next song was in a movie called Carefree, where Fred Astaire played a psychologist or psychiatrist who had a friend that was in love with Ginger Rogers. And he asked Fred if he'd uh, hypnotize into loving him. Fred agreed. By the time he hypnotized Ginger into loving his best friend, he figured out that he was in love with her, but she wouldn't love him after that because she was already hypnotized to love his best friend. So it was kind of a farce, but it produced a lot of great songs. And this next one is called Change Partners. We'd like to bring out James Fingers Shoop to play it for you. <laughs> 